Ah, yes, the unintentionally humorous Canon SL3 video is making it rounds around the web, and isn't it glorious how photos are presented here before you? I am going to get on board and hop on this photo loving train with the Canon uh, Vitsi. Uh, uh, kidding, I went with the SL2. This is an SL2 video here for you today. Coming to you right now on the Canon SL2 and try not to get eaten by mosquitoes in the backyard. When you think cameras, I compare them to tools, more like utensils. The knife, fork, spoon. The SL2 is gonna probably be in the category of a spork. It's DSLR, yeah, but it's got so many features of a mirrorless camera, the small form factor. Sometimes using the LCD screen is a little bit more convenient than looking through the viewfinder. Very mirrorless camera-y thingies that go on with mirrorless cameras. The low light performance, eh, you can get some good, decent video footage off of 800 IS, so you're not gonna confuse it with a Sony a7 III, but it's a different tool. The SL3 just dropped weeks ago, and I was almost ready for that camera. The problem was, <sighs> Canon and its Canoness crop 4K, no 24P, seemingly taking the ability to use third-party flashes off the camera and making you use the Canon official flashes out of some sort of spite. You're saying if you want a video camera, just go ahead and get the video camera. Well, no, simple things like 24p that Canon bought to the market is not really that much to ask for. It used to be when you get a new upgraded camera on the way, you look forward to features being added. Now it's like you just look to see what did they take out. <clears throat> And when the SL2 is just sitting right there for $150 less, eh, figure why not. So that's the new vlogging camera. The SL2 is here. Those are my reasons behind going with it and not the brand spanking new SL3. Of course, two years from now, I look forward to speaking about why I went with the SL3 over the SL4.